The subject of this talk are lung cancers and lung tumours. Specifically, lung cancer itself, which is a malignant cancer arising from respiratory tract epithelium, but also lung metastases, that is, secondary cancers spread from elsewhere in the, in the body to reach the lung, mesotheliomas, which is a primary malignant cancer of the mesothelium, and particularly associated with asbestos exposure, and a little bit about rarer lung tumours, which are small, benign or semi-malignant tumours, which are unusual, but are sometimes identified by radiology. So lung cancer. It's difficult to emphasise enough how important lung cancer is. It is the commonest fatal cancer. It's responsible for a total of 13% of all cancers. If you develop a lung cancer, there's a 90% chance that that cancer will kill you. It's relatively rare if you're under 50. But as you get over 50, the incidence of lung cancer increases and increases and increases, with a peak incidence occurring around 75 to 79 years of age, where one man in every 200 will develop cancer each year, and approaching uh, one per woman in every 200 will develop the cancer each year. If you look at the UK, the lifetime risk for developing lung cancer for men is 1 in 14 and for women is 1 in 19. And for both men and women, it is the most fatal, it is the commonest fatal lung cancer. And in fact, kills more people than the next three commonest cancers put together. There are two main histological character characteristic, characteristic types of lung cancer. The first is called non-small lung, lung cancer, and that accounts for 80% of the disease. And this is further subdivided into three categories. One, squamous cell cancers. These tend to come from the larger airways in the center of the lungs and therefore present with hemoptysis and blockage of the airway. Adenocarcinomas, which in contrast to squamous cells tend to be peripheral tumors and arise from mucosal glands in the smaller airways distally. And large cell cancers, which are the smaller proportion, only 10% of these cases, uh, which again is peripheral. And the histo histology of the lung cancers is very varied. The large cell lung cancers is varied. The other type of lung cancer is small, small cell lung cancer. This accounts for 20% of all cases. They, they, like squamous cell cancers, tend to be uh, central tumors arising in the peribronchial epithelium, and they grow rapidly, and they metastasize early. They are sensitive to chemotherapy, but because they grow so rapidly and because even at presentation, most patients will have metastases somewhere, even if they're not detectable by radiology, surgery is not usually curative and not offered. And this is why there's such an important distinction between small cell lung cancer and non-small cell lung cancer. Because in non-small cell lung cancer, your main aim is to identify patients who can be cured by surgical resection. Whereas in small cell lung cancer, that option is not normally available and they all get chemotherapy instead. 